it's serotonin. I decided to re-record this video because honestly the audio was so bad on it and uh, I wasn't super uh, prepared when I did the video. Um, so I've been looking up this woman. She is uh, the co-founder of uh, You Know What, as you can read here, in Toronto. And um, she has been talked about a lot recently because of some very offensive tweets that she's put out, very anti-white tweets, excuse me. Anyway, I was having a look because I wasn't entirely sure. Um, she just felt really familiar to me. And I wasn't entirely sure why. So I started scrolling down. And look what I found. This was the title of a panel on this particular group in the labor movement back in 2017. And I'm going to go to the article right here. So, you know, I get that this might be part of their thing, you know, their, it's their catchphrase, whatever. Um, but I just like, I don't know exactly if this is flaunting it, throwing this in our face or what, what is exactly happening here? Is it a mere coincidence that this is what this man said as he was apparently not able to breathe, but was able to speak. I just, I just, I don't, I don't know, guys. What do you think? What do you think? How are they going to play this? Are they going to say that they, you know, it just happened to be that this is what he said, so we decided to use him as the poster boy to destroy America? Or is this the smoking gun? I mean, I don't know. Well, they say where there's smoke, there's fire. I don't know. What do you guys think?